Well, hello and welcome to another installment of Edmonton Blog TV. This is uh, Bill. Today we're going to be going to and installing Vault to manage our secrets. Uh, it's going to be part of a series that I'm doing to get uh, Concourse CI and learn it. Uh, so we're also going to need, uh, in order for Vault to work, we want to use uh, Console as a storage backend. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is install Console. As you can see here, I have a newly installed Ubuntu server with uh, the name of Vault. I gave it two gig of RAM, 40 gig of memory, or 40 gig of hard drive space, and eight virtual CPUs. Uh, it's not a need to have that many. It just seems why not, why not use the maximum? So, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have uh, unzipped installed. Everything from HashiCorp comes as a uh, as a zip file. that must have been left over from another screen. So, the first thing we need to do is go download console. So you go to the console download page, console.io, downloads.html, find the one since it's Ubuntu, we're gonna do 64-bit, you right click, copy link address, and we're just gonna use wget. We're just gonna use wget to pull that down. Got it. So we're gonna unzip it. Oh yeah, unzip. <laughs> All right. Oh, and uh, they'll have a blog post about this. On it'll be link will be down there in the description. If you want to follow along step by step, you can do that too. So now we've un we've unzipped it. Let's give it a better home. console and there we go so it's installed so we want to run console as a system D service so I'm going to create a service definition for it an Etsy system D system and create a new file called service now I'm just copying this from my blog post but we'll go over it here so here we have the unit definition where it says description and documentation we found on the website we're going to tell it the exec start equals user being console, where we just copied it to. And tell it to run as a server, we want to enable the UI, set the data directory for the store, everything. And here, since we're only running a locally, a local copy of console, single server, we're going to tell it bootstrap expect equals one. Uh, you want to give it the name of your node, in my case it's vault, and you want to bind it to the IP address. Uh, make sure this matches whatever the actual IP address is of your server that you're configuring. And in my case, it's going to be 28. And then we're going to set a config directory to Etsy console D, which we're going to make in a second. Exec reload is what we use to kill it and restart it. Let's go ahead and save it. Now let's make that uh, configuration directory I was talking about. And we're going to add a new file in there. console.d slash ui.json so by default the ui only listens to connections from 127.0.0.1 of the local host we want to actually tell it connect to anything um, so that way we can access it outside of our server here which of course doesn't have a good so right to save that file and let's go ahead and load our system start the service and enable it so it starts when, we, when the server restarts. And we can check to make sure everything is running right by doing a follow unit console. New leader elected vault, so there we go. Uh, so now we should be able to browse to you. You call it whack whack. Oops. The host name vault at admin tone that call eighty-five hundred. And we see our console UI. Alright, 
right, so now that we have console installed and ready to go, we can go ahead and install Vault. So much the same way that we did console, we're going to go to the download page. Click on download. This one's a little bit different because it has a button there. Make sure you have Linux 64-bit. Right-click it. Copy the link address. And back on the server, we're going to do another wget. Download it. We'll unzip it. And we'll move it to a better home. Actually, let's just do that. Test it. And we got it there. So we're going to have a configuration directory just like we had for console. And here we're going to create a configuration file called etcvault config.hcl. And then again, I'm copying this straight out of my blog post. So here we're telling it that we want the storage backend to be console accessible to this API address. This is localhost 8500, so it's running it and we're telling it to store everything in Vault. We're also telling it to start up a listener. Now here you can set this to either 0.0.0.0, .0 which means listen to everything, or the IP address of your system. I ignore that. It just popped it in this place. So UI equals true. This will give us the UI. We'll write and save. And let's just open that. Okay. Make sure. Now we have our configuration file. And we need to create a unit file just like we did. So we'll just copy our one for the console and we'll edit it around. stuff to be for Vault. For vault server which is big equals FZ Vault config Load system D, start up our service. Let's see what it's doing. Active and running. We've got all that. Now to use our vault client to connect to our running service, we're going to export this and set this. Uh, actually, if you have a vault client, you can just install the same binary on like your development system, like our laptop here. I could do that and then run this, and it'll know how to connect to our vault instance. Now, if we do a vault status, we see all that good stuff. So, initialize is false, sealed is true. So, whenever you first install vault and you have a storage backend and you're still using it for the first time or if you switch storage backends you have to initialize it so to initialize it you run vault operator init and that gives you a series of tokens you might want to save these someplace because to unseal it which we're about to do you're going to need to to have at least three of those so as an example we will do vault Operate tour unseal. It's going to ask you for a key. We'll copy the first one. And here you see unseal progress one out of three. So we'll run that again. Copy the next key. Paste it. 
two of three. Copy the next one. Run the command a final time. And here we see sealed equals false, initialized equals true. So now we can, we have one more thing we have to do, which is log in with a token. This token was given right here, initial root token. So we'll copy that. There we go. So now we have vault unsealed and ready to go. We look at the status. This is HA enabled because we're using um, console, but it's not technically HA because we only have one server. And we see that it is sealed false, which means we can do stuff with it and it's initialized. So now it is free to use like you normally would. Um, we can try running some commands on here. Following the tutorial. We can see if we can add a key, key value pair, we'll put secret hello foo equals world data successfully written. And now if we want to get that secret back, we just do vault key value get secret slash hello. And there you go, foo world. So now we have that. Let's just make sure we can connect to it from our from our regular system here. All right, so I already have the vault client installed, as you can see here. Uh, what I want to do, I have to run that export command. So that this knows how to talk to my vault instance. So let me copy that and paste it in here again. Do paste vault status all right and let's do vault uh, I think we have to do a login don't we so let's try logging in Let's try getting our key pair just like we did in over here. Vault key value get secret hello. There you go. Foo equals world. So there's Vault. It's installed on Ubuntu 18.04.1. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep checking out more. I'll be installing uh, probably next. I'm going to go through and install uh, or show you how to run Concourse on, uh, on Kubernetes. I have it deployed there, but I need to write a post on how to do that. So uh, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm always coming out with some, some videos. Also, be sure to check me, check me out on Twitch. I have a lot of live streams that I do when I'm trying to figure this stuff out. So it's also good to check me out there. It's uh, Admin Tome TV. Look, look for me on Twitch. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.